And welcome everyone to a Pac-12 summer chat. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Washington State head coach Kyle Smith. And Kyle, I don't think I'm crazy. I revised my Power 36 and I had Wazoo at number 36. I want to make sure they're in there because I think Washington State can finish somewhere in the top five in the Pac-12. Why am I going to be right? You know, um, I think just in the history of uh, some of our programs that we've turned around, year three has been pretty good for us. I think we have uh, a, a combination of youth, uh, talent, yet experience from last year. So um, I'd love to see that. I think that that's, that's comes with some expectations. We'll have to go through that. We haven't had that yet. Um, there'll be some growing pains with that, but I hope you're right. <laughs> well, look, you return three of your top four scores. Uh, you got a really good score coming in at Michael Flowers. And last season, which was a crazy year for all of us, you did beat uh, UCLA and, and Oregon and Oregon State, three schools that made deep NCAA tournament runs. So there's got to be some carryover. How much have you seen this summer? You know, I think we've done a good job. I think I think even last spring when those teams were making the run, I thought that gave us some confidence. I mean, psychologically, you're like, we had a great chance to sweep Oregon State, you know, at their place, lost a tight one and beat them at our place. And like, look, those guys, those guys did it, you know, and they they uh, captured and they got better as the season went on. So I think that helped. It took us in the summer um, and things were a little back closer to normal with, uh, you know, for the previous summer, we didn't get the, you know, we had a lot of young, young guys year two in the program. It would have been nice to have a normal summer. And so we got a little piece of that back and, um, I just think, yeah, we had some success with the teams. The league's league's not going backwards. So I think a lot of teams are still going to be good. Um, but I think we've hopefully we've closed the gap. You know, and I think the Oregon State's a great example because we, you know, I rattled off a couple of traditional powers, obviously UCLA, Oregon. We fully expect Arizona to come back. But how much did the Oregon State run, not just winning the Pac-12 tournament, but what they did in the NCAA tournament, give a school like Washington State hope to say, you know what, why not us? I, I, you hit it on the nail on the head and it's, it's just good to see I think you know I think Wayne Tinkle's one of the most beloved guys in the business I think he's a good guy it's good to see his team I wish it was us but, but um, you know they, they played the right way they did the right things they stayed with their program they had older guys uh, and I do think that's important I think when um, the Bennett's had success here uh, that's what they did and we're, we're trying to cobble that together we've like you addressed it we brought in a uh, you know, some transfer. We, our backcourt was thin last year, so we addressed that with some some youth and some transfers there. So I think we'll, we'll be better in the backcourt, just have enough depth and, and uh, you know, seeing them do it will definitely inspire us. So what I love is that, and you've been at different rebuilds, obviously Columbia, USF, before that at St. Mary's with Randy, and, and, and you know what fits for each place. And a place like Washington State, to me, is one of those schools where you got to get old and stay old, just what you said there. Uh, how much did you look at that in the in sort of the macro level and saying, look, we can't make a quick fix here. If we're going to do this, that's exactly what we have to do. You know, absolutely. That's what I thought, but it's been a little different. I think our talent acquisition is a, it's been a little different than I thought. Even maybe we've outkicked our coverage a little bit on recruiting uh, as far as uh, some of the talent we brought in and, and the look. And I think we had a chance to be one of the more athletic teams which I uh, didn't anticipate that going to Washington state and other, so the, the personnel is a little different. Um, but the same idea, uh, you, you know, we're, we got some young, nice athletic front court guys, but they need the experience. They got to get old. We need to get old. We have some other guys, like I said, we, we brought some guys in that give us that maturity and uh, hopefully that that'll help uh, just your day-to-day -day operations. All right. So if we can real quick, uh, since you were with them this summer, who did you see that you say, you know what? This gives me hope that all that we're chatting about here certainly can happen, that you saw that growth, uh, you know, from the end of the season yeah. through the spring, end of the summer. You know, uh, obviously we had two or two young big guys, and they weren't around as much because uh, F.A. Abogidi had a chance to to uh, play with the 19, uh, Nigerian national team when in their preparation for the Olympics. I think he's one of the last guys. Uh, I think he's got a future there. Um, you know, he's only 19 uh, and they have a lot of NBA players. So that was a good experience for him. So he'll, he should make a nice step forward. He's, he's had some knee issues uh, this summer when, you know, coming out of that, but hopefully he's healthy. Uh, Deshaun Jackson had an op opportunity to play uh, 
a tryout with the Team USA World Cup 1900 team. Went down and uh, practiced with those guys in, in at TCU. So that's another good one. Um, and that's eyes. And Noah Williams really put together a nice summer. Uh, and, you know, he's a, I try to, I love these guys. He was a two sport athlete. And, you know, he's never been a year round basketball player. He made an incredible jump from his freshman to sophomore year. Uh, and then this is really the first summer where in spring and summer where he's just, you know, grinding as a basketball player, usually getting, He's usually we're getting ready for two days, <laughs> you know, going back to high school. And uh, so I think those guys tend to have a chance to get a lot better, but I'd say that's our, our main core. And then one guy, you know, uh, that I bemoaned last year, um, I thought had a really good summer and I don't know what capacity, but Jefferson Koulibaly, um, he was out last year with a torn labrum, had surgery uh, and whether he's come out the bench or he, he's a, uh, kind of our Patrick Beverly in a sense, like he's just a tenacious on ball defender um, and kind of gives us identity defensively. And I think everyone kind of fill in around and Noah's really good defender. And obviously those two front court guys. So I think those guys, plus you mentioned Michael flowers and, and uh, Ty Roberts are transfer older guys that can really shoot the ball. We had trouble um, with our ball handling shooting. So I think we've addressed it and, you know, there'll be some, Still adjustment for them coming in playing at this level, but I, th I think they're they've had a nice summer. And, and lastly, Kyle, uh, people don't want to go to Pullman. Pac twelve schools don't want to make that trip. Um, so the schedule, we know that's how also you can get in as an at large. What have you done to to meet the the challenge of a team that you think can certainly be in the upper tier of the Pac twelve to get some of those games in November December that can help your cause come March? You know, uh, our schedule is. You know, I still think we're pretty young, but, uh, you know, they always say, oh, we've got 20 really good high major teams on that schedule. And I think we got to prepare to do well in the league. I think you're going to have to win 10, 11 games uh, to get that done. So you'll have to be a really good home team. We've got, we've got a couple, uh, you know, we got Boise coming in. We're going to play them in Spokane. We're trying, I know they're going to be a, guy, a team that's, uh, I think they are. They usually are. <laughs> yeah, they'll be one of the favorites team. in the Mountain West. Yeah, so like, like that game and get us going. But uh, I still think um, we have, we brought in those new guys. And I, did, I didn't mention Muhammad Gay, who's certainly one of the most talented guys that I've recruited, we've recruited, but I want to, you know, he was supposed to be a senior in high school this year. So I don't want to put a lot of undue pressure on him, but maybe get a chance to, to get some experience there. So um, I think it's going to come down to, we got to do a good job in the league. You, you hit on the head. We got to, we got to be a tough team to beat at home. We've been pretty good there, and you're right. I don't, I don't think you want it. It's hard to get to Pullman. That's right. <laughs> especially, especially as well. you can beef this up. Where I, I hit it last year. Winter is coming is our theme, so we start banging it. Out. <laughs> That's when we really get going. When that snow starts falling, we get excited. Well, Kyle, I appreciate it, uh, and I know we're going to be talking about the Cougars uh, this upcoming season. All right, appreciate it, Andy. Thanks.